The Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2017 SHOT Show is sponsored by Through Night Flashlights and Hog Holsters. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2017 SHOT Show. I'm here with Linda from Lock Sack, and you've probably seen some of her stuff on Andy Tran's channel, Interbark Outdoors. They make, she makes really cool waterproof and electronic proof. And, and you know what? Just really cool storage type bags or different bags. And I'm probably screwing it all up. So I'm going to let her tell it. Linda, thank you so much for, for taking time. Thank you. Uh, yeah, there are, they are, the bags are 100% water, air, dust, humidity, sand, anything. It's got a hermetic seal. It's actually a biohazard bag. And we have the FBI putting things like, hazardous waste in them for transport and storage. So there are many, many, many applications from water all the way to something like that for storage. And then we have, um, so starting very quickly, we have a phone size bag and all electronics work 100% in the bag. Nothing at all changes once you put it in this bag. As a matter of fact, it helps with air noise as well. So this size bag now comes in computer size bag so if someone's working in dust or they're working in rain or whatever you can actually put an open computer in here and work on it while it's in the bag so there are all kinds of applications with with our bags all of our stuff is recyclable where the polyethylene and those type of things are not uh, the polypropylene and that type of thing so this is a weapon storage bag if someone puts their weapon in here and we say it has to be used with a VCI chip, not because humidity is going to get in, but they may have put a little humidity in there when they put the weapon in. So you can put a weapon in here, put the VCI chip in, and that will emit the vapor you need, and this, the, the weapon will stay clean. Six months later, they can open it. It's like they just cleaned it. And you can bury this or something. In you the can bury it with no problem. The uh, the film is incredibly, incredibly durable. It's a new generation film. So that's the Aloxac line. And these are waterproof to what? What? These are certified waterproof to 200 feet for or 60 meters for two weeks with no sign of leakage by Scuba Schools International. You said two weeks, right? Not yeah. two days, two weeks. No, and then, uh, we had a man who was snorkeling, not snorkeling, diving. He lost his phone. It was a surge took it. Somebody found it three months later at 50 feet, took it out, plugged it in, and called him and said, I have your phone, and it worked fine. Wow, that's a pretty good yeah, testimony it is. there. It's really yeah. wonderful. But you've also got, that's, so that's a lock sack. You've also got um, op sack. And we do four sizes of the op sack. This one is our odor barrier bag. You can pack out body waste. A lot of parks require that now for packing out body waste, also for packing food for hunters because the animals cannot smell through these bags. So this has a barrier film on it and that's our op sack. In other words, you could use that for a bear bag or whatever hanging out in the woods and you're not gonna have, have well, bear. Well, and the nice thing about it, you know, the bear containers will still draw the bears because they can smell. They just can't open the container. And even if you hang it up, they can smell it. So if you put it in one of these bags first, they just don't even come. And a lot of people just don't want to see a bear, let alone have their food gone, but they would be happy if a bear did not come. So toiletries and food can be stored in these. And we have a large 12 by 20 and then a large 20 by 28 for clothing cool. and all different sizes in that. And then this one is called a shield sack. And this one is an absolute Faraday cage. And it's very different than a lot of things people are selling. And just as we say our bags are waterproof to 60 meters for two weeks, this bag's attenuation is extremely, extremely high. It's the first one to be this high and fabric and pocket friendly. And um, when you put it in there, you, you don't receive any more emails, nothing like that at all, but everything goes on the tower or the server and it all drops down so you don't lose anything. And this one is sold to Homeland Security. If they confiscate a phone, they'll throw them in here so that someone can't erase them. And it's also used for high up uh, people like Associated Press and celebrities and uh, military. We sell these to Navy Special Warfare. And when the phone is put in here, it's just off the grid. So like, for example, when you see, you see these uh, celebrities that wind up with their nude pictures on the internet because somebody yep. scanned it off their phone, this would have protected them. They should yeah. have talked to you first. Yeah, it would. They can't get in and see anything. Yeah. So the thing is, once they get in, I think, I don't know if you know this, but once they get in, they own your phone. It, it, and they don't, 
They can walk by you and they have it. And they can go home on their computer, they can use it for a microphone, they can take pictures with it. This is why a lot of the government, when they go into the Pentagon, they leave their phones out because they're afraid they've been compromised. So they turn them into microphones and they can look at your emails, everybody else's email that you email to, they can look into all their address book. They have everything. Also have a patent on the way I've designed the bag and, and so on. And this is all precious metals in here. But you can see how pocket friendly it is. Yeah, it's very lightweight and it works. And you created all this. I did. So you're a very smart lady. <laughs> I don't know that I'm a very determined lady. <laughs> but you know and you have to be a little bit loose to sell a bag that looks like a Ziploc and tell people they can put chemicals in there and they just laugh or you can go underwater with it. Now, fortunately, the bag has a good reputation, and now people know about it. Well, thank you so very You're much for taking welcome. time to talk to us. Thank you for watching. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I would like to take just a minute to thank Through Night Flashlights and Hog Holsters for sponsoring this coverage of the 2017 SHOT Show. I gotta tell you, I bought my first Through Night Flashlight about three years ago. It was the TN12 version, I remember. I was really impressed with the quality of that flashlight, and I've since developed a relationship with Through Night and, and reviewed a lot of their gear. I just really think they do a great job of providing exceptional value in really cutting edge flashlight technology. My current everyday carry flashlight I've been carrying for, I don't know, at least a year is the TC12, which is kind of like the rechargeable version of the TN12. I highly recommend this. They've actually got a new version coming out. I'll be doing a review on soon, but this is an excellent, excellent flashlight. I think if you're looking for a really high quality, high value flashlight, uh, you can't go wrong with the through night. They just really have impressed me with, with the level of, of, of value that they provide in a really nice flashlight. They're also kind enough, by the way, as you can see, to hook me up with this really cool shirt. I'd also like to thank John over at Hog Holsters. Uh, John makes these really nice puller in the waistband Kydex holsters. This is the uh, carbon fiber bling model, which feature the Ulti Clip retention system, which I really like. As I said before, this is absolutely my go-to holster, the best holster I've ever used, so I highly encourage you to go check them out too. So, um, But anyway, once again, I will put links to, to, to Through Night Flashlights and Hog Holsters below. I think they are both excellent examples of the kind of companies that I can feel 100% confident in recommending to you because not only do I use them every day in my own life, but I, I just think they are very, very good stuff. So once again, thanks to both Through Night Flashlights and Hog Holsters for sponsoring this coverage of the 2017 SHOT Show. And as always, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for clicking that thumbs up, for sharing this video with all your friends. Thank you so very much for doing all your Amazon shopping through the Survival On Purpose links. I really appreciate the support. Once again, my name's Brian, you're watching Survival On Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident. So be prepared, I'll see you next time.